Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, CTO of DVS, and today we're going to take a look at something really exciting and brand new. So before we do, make sure you like, share and subscribe on the link below. And for those of you that do contribute, we thank you very much. We hope you're all very well and very safe wherever you are. And a big, big thank you for following us. So, moving on. What are we going to look at today? Well, a really exciting technology. So for those of you that want to use facial recognition, and I know it's a hot topic, um, so again, some of you do like it and some of you don't like it, but it does have its benefits and its usages. Now, for those of you that don't want to pay the historic costs uh, associated with that, and I know there can be uh, large costs associated with the deployment and the management of this, now Hype Vision have decided to launch the facial recognition in a Turbo HD solution. So it's effectively this unit here that we've already fitted. So the part number is it's on the box IDS 7208 HUHI M1 forward slash FA forward slash A. Now the forward slash A is we have the alarm module here. So this one's got alarm inputs and outputs on there. But effectively, we do this in a four channel or an eight channel. Now the facial recognition can be enabled on one channel, either the four channel or the eight channel. Now, if you do enable face recognition, currently the unit will only let you do one channel of face recognition and no other VCA. So if you want your line crossing or your intrusion, etc., it will tell you to turn facial recognition off. So just bear in mind, if you are, and that's a good point that if you do want to deploy this, it's probably only worth deploying it in a 4 and an 8 channel. Because you only get one channel of facial recognition and you can't use the other VCA analytics, then it's probably beneficial to uh, just buy the uh, 4 and the 8 channel currently. So, we fitted the DVR, we've got our four cameras connected. Um, now, this the HUHI model can support up to 8 megapixel, so you can use 2, 3, 5 or 8 megapixel, whatever the turbo camera is that you've currently got. Um, these are all set to 1080p, but it will allow you to use the higher res ones. Now, it's on GUI 4, so we've made sure we've updated it to the latest GUI 4. So again, always check the portal or ask Hike Vision for the latest firmware. This is a brand new unit, so it was on the latest firmware already. So I'm going to take a break quickly, and then we're going to come back, guide you through the process of how to set it logically on the GUI 4. Then we'll transfer you to the web browser to show you that and then how it interacts with Hike Connect because it does have the Hike Connect app support also. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So we've now put you in front of the DVR, so we're gonna guide you through the GUI settings. So as I said before, it's set up with GUI 4, so you can see the familiarity of that. Now the easy way to do this is under maintenance, here is the model number here, so you can obviously reference it, and there is the current firmware. So always make sure that you obviously update that. And you can update that by putting a USB stick in, go to upgrade, and then finding the correct file. It's also got FTP, online upgrade, and camera upgrade as well. So we can upgrade the turbo cameras if there is a package file via the turbo DVR. Okay, so moving forward. I'm not going to go through the GUI functions itself because they're pretty generic, pretty standard for the height vision range. First thing we need to do is go to system and then go to event. So under normal event, you've got the standard options as you know as normal. But under smart event, as I said before, you've got the human face comparison here. Now, if I enable this, which I have enable face comparison here, if I go to line crossing or intrusion and try and enable this and click apply, it'll tell me please turn off the face comparison function. So again, just double double aware, if you do use the face comparison function, you can't then use the other VCAs. So back to human face comparison, so we've enabled that. Under the alarm parameters, the comparison failed prompt and the comparison succeeded. You can change them and customize them should you feel the need to. Arm in schedule, default 24 seven, but again, if you need to apply a specific arm in schedule, then just carry on. Linkage method for face matched. So we're gonna do the notify surveillance center so it goes to the Height Connect app. But again, you can fill this in to whatever linkage is required for face matched. And similarly, you can do the linkage method for face mismatched. So you've got face matched and face mismatch. So the linkage actions can be very different for both. Once we're happy we've set these up, now click apply, so we're happy on that. Um, next you have to actually have a uh, face database. So best thing to do is under here, smart analysis, click on this. Under the face 
picture database I've already added a DVS database but you can add another one by simply giving it a name so you can have different people in different databases so it could be whitelist blacklist um, you know theft uh, whatever visitor VIP whatever that may be you can create the list on the left hand side there now I've already added myself so if I click on myself I already added myself just to make sure this works of course um, two ways you can add, you can click on add and I can upload a JPEG through a, via the USB stick on the front. You can also do this remotely uh, through the web browser or IVMS 4200. I can either export the list, import the list or export the face. So if you've got a list already set up on another DVR and you want to replicate that because it's a chain of stores and it's the same list that you may need to use, I can export the uh, picture library and then import it so you get the exact replica or you can import export certain faces or just add via there the other method you can use is a nice simple smart search so under smart search choose the camera there's only one camera and I can choose the time and date range so if somebody has created a theft today click start search now it'll find all of the faces that is found today now if I go and find one a good one the side profile ones never work that well but I can click on this one click add to face database give it choose the database you want it to exist in give it a name so test and you can fill in the other details if you've got it click on OK and it's as simple as that under face picture database now I've got the two faces so those two faces will be continually looked for um, not just these two faces but if these two faces appear and it matches it, the appropriate linkage action will be continued. So I'm going to delete this one because there's no need to have this one in there. We've already got this one in. Now, that's essentially it. Um, I've set it up for under camera. Uh, I set them. Um, these are 1080p cameras. Um, there is one here that's 8 megapixels. So you can choose any camera. It's not tied to 1080p. You could use an 8 megapixel camera if you want. The frame rate's a little low on this, only 8 frames a second. But it does allow you to use more than 1080p. Um, standard turbo functions, other than that. So H265 is supported. Go to Live View. Now, under Target Detection here on the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to enable the face detection symbol and I'm going to walk away. And you can see me in the screen there, walk up to the screen, and it should now at some point put me on the screen. Or maybe I haven't left the screen enough. There we go. Because it was continually scanning me. So on the left hand side you can see the green box around my face, and you can see it's detected me twice here. So both of them have been 98% and 99%. So Dave, click on this one. And you've got the sample uh, footage uh, I uploaded, plus the reference one it's just taken, and there's the associated video. And again, we've got two there. So you can actually click on this, and then from there, if you need to um, export it in a normal fashion. Again, you can keep this interface on the left-hand side if you like, but you don't have to. You can just keep it on that one. And we also support this facial recognition thing here. So again, all of the reads will go in there as a permanent if you wanted to display them then you don't get the other functions until you exit so it's really up to you how you sort of use this now the green box around the face there could be powerful so if you put this screen if you put this full screen and you put it into a shop doorway now as people walk in that green box is detected around their face so it could be a good visual deterrent for the shop itself but again entirely up to you the good um Thing with this machine is you it won't specifically just tell you the people in the database what I can do is go into smart analysis smart search I can search for all of the faces as detected so again anyone else who'd been in here would be showed here and then from there I can add them to the database or I can simply click so source oh, sorry search by picture upload sample from local so click on that JPEG from the actual USB in the machine and then choo like choose a face that's not in a database so it could be somebody that's committed a crime that the police have given you the uh, face and asked if they've been in your store or upload sample from face picture database click on this associate your face with it and then you can select more than one face click on OK time and date range there and the sim sim similarity uh, percentage click start search and you can see these are all the ones that's linked for me today. So if I click on one, double click there. So 98% sure that it's against that face there and there's the box to show the detection. Again, I can select all of these and export them if I require them 
for evidence purposes. And that is effectively the Turbo DVR with face recognition in a nutshell. It's not more complicated than that, uh, and if you know the Hike Vision product range, it's a very simple addition. Really cost effective, really easy to deploy, and you can use that within Hike Central also. I'll just transfer you across now to the web browser so we can see that functionality and the Hike Connect app. So stay tuned. Okay, so looking at the web browser itself. Um, we've logged into the unit using the IP address and again, uh, model number and then the correct firmware version there, but always update the firmware where necessary. Uh, all of the other functions are very typical of a Hike Vision unit, so I don't really need to go through any of this. Um, again, uh, under video and audio, you can you know, set the camera, etc. there. Under event, you've got the uh, face comparison here. So if I go to smart event, wait for it to catch up. You've got the camera one. Um, you won't be able to set any of these others. It'll error on here also because we're already using it for face comparison. So go to face comparison. On camera one, we've enabled it. So again, disables all the other functions. Set the parameters here. So again, you've got a little bit more control on the web browser than you do locally on the DVR. So capture interval, capture times, sensitivity, and generation speed. Um, again, you can set what well, the, the defaults normally work fine, to be honest, but you can play around them with, with those to optimize the settings for the application you're using. So you've got the linkage method for face matched, for face mismatched, and then the picture library. So we've got one picture library at 80% similarity. So again, you can use this and program it remotely. And from the face picture library, go into here, we've got the one library here, so we'll click on it, and we've got just me in there. So if I click on uh, this way, you can see there's just me. Um, but I could, um, I could add uh, my, uh, a picture here, add a profile through the web browser, or search by picture, upload a picture and see if any matches come back so it is sort of quite intuitive to use remotely as well um, again most people will use it locally on site again the advantage of it being able to go to Hike connect as a notification is really powerful so if i just transfer you quickly to the app okay so to show you the app and the Hike connect here um, under the event is already shown me the face comparison list here so you can see the alarms coming through click on that, click on that, and then it gives you the associated footage. But if I go and walk in front of it now, you can see there 946 as one there as, as I walked into the uh, back into the office. So you can see it's really easy to get this information from the device. So you can see there's the camera there. But again, go back to notification. If I go and walk in front of the camera now, There we go. So one's come up already. So face comparison alarm. And you can see, refresh that. Click on that. And you've got me there. Click on playback. And the footage is linked. So how easy is that to use? Again, nice and easy. So if you want to know any more, please contact your DVS sales rep and they can give you some more information or pricing. Other than that, we hope you like the product and um, we look forward to your likes and shares stay tuned stay focused stay safe and we'll see you next week for another how-to video cheers guys